it is your girl Keisha Head Chick at UncommonChick.com, the lifestyle brand for savvy entrepreneurs. And today is October 1st. I cannot believe how fast time is flying. Um, so what that means is we are in the fourth quarter. One of the things I like to do every quarter, every month and all that good stuff is to recap what have I done? What can I do differently next quarter? And all that good stuff. But normally, like in my previous lives, I would, you know, settle down, start to take less clients, and, you know, chill out for a little while. Hello, Nikki. Um, and so this is a time of year when, you know, I even, you know, November, December holidays are rolling around. I put on my, my fat girl jogging pants and, uh, you know... <laughs> have as much as I would desire when mom's is cooking and all of that good stuff. But uh, this year I'm doing something a little bit differently and I wanted to share with you some of the things that I'll be doing in hopes that it can help you as well. All right. So it's fourth quarter. Let's do this. Let's finish it strong. I have three steps, like a three step plan I want to share with you uh, from what I'm doing. I have my notes here to make sure I stay on track because I like to talk so I can bring it back. You know, you might be having lunch or something. You got to get back to work. So I don't want to take up too much time. But, uh, all right. So you ready you with me? Oh, a poor connection. I hope, um, I hope it straightens out after a while. I know. I don't, I don't know. It's, it, it, hey, we're talking about live video here. When it works, it's work. When it works, it, when it doesn't, it sucks. It is. <laughs> Hello, Blago Mama. Hello, guys. All right. So, all right. Are you ready? Three steps. Let's do this. One, get real freaking serious. Oh, by the way, I use the word freaking a lot. I don't know why. It's a funny word to me. <laughs> so I use it often. So just disregard me. But yes, get real freaking serious. Um, even more serious than you've been before. And here's why I say that. Now that you haven't been serious already this year, right? So I know you have because you're savvy, you're smart. It's what you do. But... You know, we have a timeline now. It's, it's kind of like it, it gives us, it puts some fire under under our butts. Speaking of fire, let me tell you guys a, a sh real short, quick story. This year, I mean, sorry, this week, as a matter of fact, I had some fire put under my butt involuntarily. Um, <laughs> and that um, at work, I had some things happen. You know, when you see writing on the wall um, and big bold letters, you know, you got to get yourself into gear because there's something coming down the pipe most likely and you need to be ready. Yeah, that's what was happening to me this week. So I'm like, you know what? Have I really been as serious as I should be? And my answer was no. And I had to be honest with myself and say, no, I was not as serious. I wasn't playing the game as serious as I should have. So now is my time to get real freaking serious. All right. So that's number one. Oh, and I have a tip for number one too on getting serious. One thing I know for sure Oh my God, I love that book too, by the way. One thing I know for sure is that when you make a decision and get committed to something, the universe aligns in your favor. I hope you are or have experienced that in your life at some point. But when you really make a decision and you really get committed to something, things start to happen. People start to come in your life. Um, you know, situations just occur, right? Rabbit ears synchronicity happens so I want you to experience that but it only it starts with making that commitment when you get serious all right yes yep that's God Nikki says yes ma'am I'm telling you um, just just do it if you haven't experienced it yet you will when you make that commitment all right hello social work Pat thanks for the love guys I truly appreciate you <laughs> All right, so that was number one. Get real freaking serious in our three-step plan. Number two is, drum roll, <laughs> do something different. All right, now there's a couple ways we can go about this one. One is, if you've been going along, treasuring along, you've been doing what you've been doing, and it's kind of like, yeah, okay, what can I do to this action or step or whatever it is you're doing, this, this goal, what can I do to tweak it a little bit so that, it's even better, right? That's one way. The other way is, if you, you know what? That did not work at all. Scrap it. Do something completely different. Now, here's my tip on that one, though. If you haven't been measuring your results so far, 
then how will you know what to do differently? Yes. Thank Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. We have to stop the insanity. And we know what insanity is, right? Doing the same thing and expecting something different. All right. No, we are going to do something different. That's our step two in our three-step plan to finish this year strong. Do something different. Okay. So, um, yeah. If you haven't been tracking or measuring what you've been doing, I don't care what it is. You can track everything. You can track you track your weight loss and fitness goals. You can track your financial goals. You can track your business. Everything you can track, I need you to track it. If you haven't, I need you to stop. Because that's the only way that you'll really know how things have been working so that you know when to change something. Okay? All right. So that's number two. Do something different. All right, number three, are you ready? Be not afraid. Or actually, be not afraid of being afraid. Here's why I say that. We know fear is going to pop up, right? Anytime you, and, oh, have you guys noticed, I'm sure you may have, that when you start something new, when you start doing something different, a lot of stuff pops up, right? Like they may seem like obstacles or they may seem like, um, you know, something good starts to occur, all of a sudden, this other stuff pop out the blue that kind of like sets you back a little bit. Uh, was it uh, the, the old people used to say back in the day, you know, two steps forward, one step back? Or, you know, uh, what's the one? It can't, can't do nothing good, can't be something good for wrong or something like that. I may be saying it all wrong, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> my mom used to say that all the time. She's like, just always say that. Now I can't even get it off the tip of my tongue. Oh, God. Anyway. You guys know what I'm talking about in terms of, oh my God, now I'm just getting ready to go lose this like 20 pounds and all of a sudden somebody come over with like 10 donuts and they're your favorite <laughs> or you getting ready to, to rock out some business goal and all of a sudden the one thing you need costs money and you don't have it. So it's a lot of different things, right, that can come up. But one of those things is fear. Now, here's my tip on that though. Don't be afraid of being afraid. And here's how we can do that is work with the fear, not against it. Welcome it. Why? Because it is letting us know and it's giving us clues. Uh, if, it, if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have luck at all. Thank you. Yes. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Social work bad. Thank you so much. I couldn't think of, think of the dang old phrase for nothing. But anyway, uh, yes, that's what I mean. Um, so, yes, when we get into those uncomfortable stages and we get into, you know, that area where it's like, eh, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little scared of what's going to happen or what's going to, how things are going to come out or how it's going to play out or if I'm really going to be able to get this done, right? Those are natural. That is perfectly fine. Here's what I want you to do. Honor that feeling. If it's nervous energy, fear, whatever it is, honor it because what happens is it's giving us clues into something, right? But don't let it completely cripple you and stop you. We kind of like work with it. Now there's a whole bunch, that's a whole nother periscope about, you know, ways and, and things to go about doing that. Uh, CC says we can use anything. Yes, ma'am. Hi, CC. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So that was your number three and that's to be, <laughs> be not afraid of being afraid. But you know what? I got a bonus one only because I like to break rules, right? I said three. I have one more for you guys. We're going to rock it out. First time here. So glad you joined CC. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will be looking out for you too. So if you have any scopes, I'm going to come over and, and join you guys as well. All right. So, um, number four, have fun. Anything I do, I want to be able to have fun. If it's not within your work, sometimes work, you know, can be like drudgery, right? Take a break and go do something that's going to allow you to have fun. Another thing with this is, it's not all work and no play. I do not want to have um, December 31st roll around and the only thing you can do is to fall out. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Oh, and Nikki, I'll be coming to join you and watch your scope, boo. <laughs> I'll be harding it up for you. Um, yes, I do not want that to happen for you guys. The you know, end of the year roll around and you have no energy left. No, no, no. You have to find a way to get that work-life blend happening. It may be trial and error, but just remember, just because you only have three months left to do some things, you know, and to scratch items off your list. By the way, I love to do this with my pen on paper. Anyway, this, <laughs> I love to do that. Um... Uh, also, so yes, have fun. Make sure that you, 
you know, rocking it out really well and balancing things. Yes, balance is necessary. Uh, it's not all work. And of course, just because it's the holiday is coming up and we're going to be spending more money. And I mean, there's so much, there's so much going on in fourth quarter, uh, you know, for people that a lot can keep us distracted. Let those distractions go. Okay. Um, work again, work with your fear, not against it. So let me recap while I'm talking about that. Let me recap. So your three step plan so we can finish this year strong with the bang guys. You ready? All right. So let me make sure I got my notes going. Number one is get real freaking serious, serious, sir. Than you've been before. Yeah. I just made up a word. I like to use that one too. Serious, sir. <laughs> You're going to get serious, sir. Than we've been before. All right. So make that decision, make that commitment, and I guarantee you things are going to start happening in the direction of where you want to go. All right, number two was do something different, whether it's to tweak something you already have or do something completely different, scrap something and go a completely different route. All right, and number three was to be not afraid of being afraid. It's going to be there. We cannot, we are human. We cannot wipe out fear. Work with it. Let it give you the cues. Let it, you know, understand that, yes, you're getting into something new. You may be doing something different, but it's okay. And just move. Take one step at a time to do whatever you need to do to, to finish things out very, very strong. And because I'm me, I gave you number four. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, for recapping. This is my boo-boo. This is my old roomie, y'all. I love her to death. <laughs> Yes, you see, different is good. Different is good. When we really look back at what we've been doing, if it hasn't been working for you, whether it's a relationship, a whole nother topic on that one, but whether it's a relationship or, you know, foods we've been eating or things, exercise plans is not working out, whatever it is, try something different, okay? But track it. Remember, track what you're doing. And then lastly, have fun with it. It is not all work and no play. Find that work-life blend that works for you. Still have fun with your family. You know, enjoy your holidays. But just know when you get done with them, you get back to work. So December 31st, you can look back. You can breathe. And you can say, yeah, I did that. I did that. All right. All right. So uh, any major goals on you guys' list for this fourth quarter? Is there anything I can help with, whether it's a business goal or a life goal? I love to hear your goals, um, what you're planning on doing, what you're planning on rocking out, what you're committed to, what have you made the decision to commit to, right? So that, that synchronicity can happen for you. Please let me know. And for those who are new, again, I am Keisha. UncommonChick.com, the lifestyle brand for savvy entrepreneurs. And I would love to see you in the future scopes. And I'll come and check you guys out as well so that I can come and share and show some love. Until next time, guys. Oh, and by the way, uh, let's see, Nikki, I'm releasing an online course to help people write business plans for 2016. Awesome. Y'all see that? Get with Nikki so that she can help you guys with any business plans for 2016. Yes. That awesome, Nikki. Awesome, Nikki. Hey, I might need to talk to you, too. I got some new things coming up I might need some help with. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? What else? I saw something about books. I'm sorry I missed it um, as far as some goals that you guys have. Um, uh, the replay will be up on the blog if you missed anything or any of the replays for the scopes will be at uncommonchick.com forward slash scopes. All right. All right, guys, until next time, get back to your day. Hope you're having a lovely one. We will talk soon. Toodles.